Death Watch. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, you guys had witnessed the uh, battle in the sky, and everything has died down. The white cloaks have retreated. Uh, the Sanshin have retreated back into Fall Maiden to their ships. So we've been camping outside yeah. the town? They did, right? Um, <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys had uh, gotten the promissory note from uh, Megda, and she said that uh, that uh, Sheena said he would um, make good on her additional pro- promise of payment if you had brought her word of Megda's uh, release, rescue. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Sheena was, had told you earlier that she, <coughs> she had some business in uh, Tanchico. So what are we doing right at this? Well, uh, you guys have uh, escaped the battlefield as well, and you are on the way to Tanchico. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> I think we need to talk about this a little bit. <laughs> we gotta go get paid. Well, we did what she asked. Yeah, you're at least not around money. Fall May anymore. We gotta get well, them done. No, that's a, that's probably a good direction to go. Um, but while we're traveling, the rest of you may or may not notice that Rafe is a little distraught. In mm-hmm. fact, if you happen to glance his way, he'll be sure to sigh. Look down. What troubles you, friend? Oh, nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, it all started when I took the O's to find the Horn of Valley. <laughs> oh, crap. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've, uh, so I feel a little bit listless. Yeah. Because that's my guess, is that's what that was. I mean, what do you, you guys think? Of Obviously. What would I roll to determine if that was, in fact, what it was? Arcana? Sure. History? Um, whichever I would I would go with. I'd probably go with history. Twenty four. <laughs> so you want to know if that was the Horn of Valir? Yeah. From uh, all the stories that you have heard or read, uh, that the hero's returning is, uh, comes from the Horn of Valir once it's blown. So yeah, you guys can summarize that. That's that is what happened. And I know from Magna that she recognized the dragon banner. Mm-hmm. So uh, the heroes were called and the dragon banner was flown. I mean, that's the whole reason we were traveling across the land. I think yeah. we have a whole lot more, like, worse things on the on the road ahead of us. The dragon banner was flown. The dragon is reborn. <laughs> if the horn has been blown, then the last battle is soon to come. I thought I was going to get the horn. <laughs> doesn't mean you can't be bound to it <laughs> i'm already bound to it i can assure you that i'm just not dead at the moment so um well then we must prepare for the last battle <laughs> all right kill uh i charge <laughs> the darkness, the darkness. <laughs> no but i did go into armsmen for my level and part of the way i wanted i think i'm gonna take brandon's borderland axiom or honor code to heart yeah so uh if, if we head in tanchico then then i'll do it with all my heart and all my strength so i'll suggest the forced march right well why, what's the hurry no hurry i was just let's do a forced march <laughs> show got <laughs> you son of a 110 percent uh, from now on is that <laughs> right uh, race yeah. style so there were three days of Soul crushing depression, and now I'm hooked on to Chilgoth's mandate. Yeah, I do like how you guys sort of seem to change positions right there, where <laughs> you're now taking credit for his ideas <laughs> instead of vice versa. Well, it is a good idea um, for a reason that will become clear in time. I agree. Uh, so long as we can maintain it, I'll attempt to help in maintaining it. Where if we start getting fatigued, all on the down low. Uh, was it sorcerize us? Yeah, I'll sorcerize you. Sadar us. Accidental rent. Sadarize us. 
leader red. So, Falk, don't you think that the last battle happened? I have a feeling that it'll be a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, it was a little disappointing. Yeah, two two men fighting in the skies. Yeah. <laughs> One face wreathed in flames is disappointing. Well, I have no idea what the White Tower is capable of, or the Dragon Reborn, for that matter. That's true. Well, I saw the heroes called. They did say that they would fight in the last battle, but... Well, I'll tell you, if, if somebody were to be like, you draw the Dark One right now, it would have been that fellow above the skies of fall. Yeah, that was clearly the Dark One. So the last battle's over. I think we would know if that happened. All you gotta do is name him and see what happens. Ah, I'm a student of the Carathean cycle. I mispronounced it because I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and um, the last battle's the uh, Dragon Reborn's business, not all, not all of ours. I think that's in the prophecy. Right. Well, obviously, I'll be at the last battle. Doesn't the last battle decide the fate of all men? Think of how many Trollocs there'll be to kill. <laughs> how many do you think there'll be? As you want. And more besides. Well, those are some old stories. So what I think happens is over time, the actual truth gets diluted in translations and mistranslations and that the last battle occurred and it was just the sky sword fight. Could be the prophecy was blown out of proportion. But what does that mean for all of us, though, if that is the dragon reborn? Tanchico seems like a good place to flee as any. As far south from the Blight as you can get. Good distance from the White Tower. Good distance from the Blight. <laughs> Had White enough Tower. of channeling. The White Tower might be the safest place for all of us in the end. What foolishness. <laughs> Every man knows you go there, they shrink your gonads. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys want to do forced march to Tanchico? <laughs> if Adina doesn't outright kill Rafe in the or next few minutes. Go, I think you just gave Adina some ideas and about for a new what weave. to do to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an oddly specific weave. Well, I've, I've been asking John how I, exactly I would pull someone apart with the power, so we can figure out some funner weaves, I guess. Uh, in the nightly sword practices, I'll do my utmost not to, to put my brash self in check and be a good student. And Choga. in the evenings, I'm going to start uh, training his force to be less skittish in battle. Okay. Using my an handle animal and animal empathy and stuff. It will likely take the entire rest of the adventure, but he seems attached to his horse. Well, one does not ignore the Omerlin seat's call. <clears throat> what do you think they would do to somebody who named their horse the Omerlin seat in the White Tower? Well, they'd turn up their nose and sniff. <laughs> but nothing but real? That's all they ever did. Uh, <laughs> maybe not within the actual, like if you're in the city, yeah. like you might get brought up on something, especially depending on which... Uh, Amarillion is on the seat. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they got other ways. Like, was it like they hinted at like what happens to thieves where they yeah. essentially never steal if as long as they're in right. in town again? Well, it doesn't seem like they're above assassination. <laughs> yeah, assassinations, uh, uh, what is it, like corporal punishments, like beatings, birchings, floggings. They, they all seem to be par for the course and for everything that they can't do with the one power they have borders that seem more than willing to yeah. just go for it like moraine was always like leashing raining land in because he, he wanted to kill everybody yeah like anyone but like, like possibly could uh rat them out when they were in book one because their mission was top priority at that point was to get ran to the blight and land was all the time stony faced he's a real grumpy fellow yeah he is <laughs> That's, um, Brandon Sanderson should do a spinoff about a man and his horse going to the White Tower. Awesome. I can teach all of our horses to fight alongside us independently. 
So are you doing that as like teach an animal a task? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and for taking a the task is war. <laughs> so it'll take two months. Yeah. You should train it to uh, actually lead armies. <laughs> Make it a general. <laughs> One of the great captains. Okay, so how long of a travel are we looking at this Han Chico? Um, a couple of days. You you guys are looking at uh, about fight beside you. eight days normal travel. Four horses already fight beside you. So that's what I was trying to find is the uh, travel and forced march stuff. Do we have a? Do we still have group rations? Yeah. Or do I need to use my private stock? Let's see. I'm down to three. <laughs> or I guess Falk and I could go. Well, my first day in town, I went and I bought 20 more rations. Oh. Since we got to Fall May. I have enough for the journey as well. So, yeah. I've got 20. If it's only going to take eight days, then... I'll just use what I get. That'll take care of the whole party for the journey. I'll mark off my three... Oh, well, it's eight days normal travel. We should have a little bit more. It's probably going to take, like, what, five? Force yeah. marching. As long as we're able to keep up the force march. Yeah, you guys can uh, follow the roads. Uh, they're pretty well maintained between here and uh, Tanchico. Um, yeah, there we go. Who had uh, heavy war horses? You, okay, so you guys will be bound by that 40 miles a day by the force. Um, normal move. Well, the horse's name is Avalanche for a reason. Each day it gets faster. Mm. Like an avalanche, the longer it moves, the faster it gets. But it's unable to go uphill. <laughs> okay, so... You'll do a constitution check for every hour beyond eight that you travel. How many hours do we want to travel in a day? Are we just doing it on the horses? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. What is their constitution? I do 12 hours march. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the war horses, both heavy and light, have a constitution of 17. Let's go to plus plus three. three. And the light war or the light horse has a constitution of fifteen. Um, so what's the okay. effect if we fail, John? So heavy has plus. Uh, seven take one d six points of subdual damage. Right. I can completely negate all the subdual damage on our horses. It's that much per hour, though, right? Yeah, it's every hour that we fail. If you fail, then you'd take the one d six. Yeah, I can. Uh, uh, stave it off for four hours and then after that they'll take 1d8 points of subdual damage on top of whatever they've taken so if, like if they start getting too tired i can just <laughs> then they just keep going <laughs> okay would they so... get knocked out when they come out of it after the four hours yeah <laughs> okay. but then i can do it again and they'll wake back up until their liches <laughs> so let's let's have you guys do uh we'll do it for the first day here. Is it fort saves or const it's a constitution. Just straight constitution. Yeah. And of what? How many rolls do you want do you want well, for each day? Um or do you wanna It's supposed to be one for each hour you go over. But so we need uh four per day. So sixteen rolls, you said four days? Yeah. Right? You want, you want to go twelve hours? Yeah. Yeah. So it starts at 11, next hour is 12, 13, and then 14. All right. Uh, I missed one. Okay. Avalanche made all of them. Was it 1d6? Yeah. I failed two one the first day. Ah, I have the best horse in the party, which is fitting. But that should clear up with <clears throat> the night's sleep, right? Yeah. Once we unsat Yeah, them. they have to have at least four hours of rest. Yeah, I think they're getting that. So how many hit points does your horse have? Justin? My horse has 30. Okay. Yeah. Or 22. Yeah, so if so you guys can... Who would actually lose consciousness on the second day after? If you guys can uh, do it all the way through, then you would make it in, what, um, what four days? Sure. There? 
All right, so on the second day, I have to take care of your horse. Yeah, I, he failed three on the second day. All right. Yeah. So at that, the end of that day, he's going to take 1d8 in addition. That actually just completely knocks him unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> what was so the final So I'm riding and my horse 14? just collapses out. 14, yeah. Mm-hmm. Four horsey. So 10, 12, 14... Yep. Or, oh, sorry, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. It right. just goes up by plus one every day. Third day I missed three. And I'm probably going to have to do that on my horse. Yeah, I so missed that, two on my third day. Does your horse need to... Fourth day, sorry. No. Okay. No. How many hit points does my horse have? 19. And this is subdual? Yeah. Okay. I think he's good each day. All right. And then the last day, my horse failed all four. <laughs> all right, so last day. He gets just... sold the bum horse back in Lugard. I'll put his horse down. All right, so. Just tired. By charging. <laughs> <laughs> you gallop off the short ways. Yeah. Wheel your horse around. Yeah, as long He's as. He's like, you okay, girl? <laughs> Actually, I think I should have been able, I, have... I have four slots, so I could have taken care of all of them on a single day okay. without a problem. And I. I think it's uh, what yours, uh, Falks, and did you need any Rafe? Well, if Subduel goes away each night, then I'm in the clear. The worst I got was 10 hit points on the fourth day. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to bluff, and like when Rafe's horse starts kind of, or Falks' horse starts kind of lagging, I'll like feed it a carrot or something and kind of rub its nose and say, oh, like, I just need a little, little snack. See? <laughs> Yeah. So the, the second day and the fourth day, my horse just collapses out from under me at hour 10. <laughs> well, I'd take care of yeah, it before it does that. Adina will take care of well, it. Well, yeah, on hour eight, it would it would collapse. Yeah. And then, actually, I guess it would be hour 10, it would collapse. Yeah, but, at the, but after the weave ends at hour 12, it would basically collapse. Yeah. Uh, so for that day, my bluff was a 26. And then on the second time i have to do it for your horse it's much lower it's 15 so if i got all my bad rolls out of the way now hopefully there was a, a frightening number of fours and fives in there but yeah if you uh see through those bluffs falk or even if you don't care i'll be giving you a, like a, a i dare you to say anything look <laughs> i think you have magic carrots <laughs> whoa where'd you get those magic carrots Eridomen merchants use them. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make uh, the trade on time. That's why the Shanchen wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you guys make it uh, to Tanchico on the fourth day of travel. Um, so, I only need one ration from the stock. Yeah, I marked off, because um, you said you were going to use your three, right? Yeah. So I marked off 13 that I had that should cover all of us for the oh, okay. for the time. So you were told that uh, she would be staying at the Inn of the Golden Cup. Oh, there's a place I'm supposed to go if I'm ever in Tanshiko. Oh, yeah, the... Uh, oh, the heck is it? It's that one place where they have all the screens, right? Yeah. If you can't remember it, I'll allow a uh, <laughs> intelligence check. Okay. Well, you had a letter, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, just read your letter. <laughs> yeah, from that one. Uh, I don't remember. Bottom. I had the letter. Yeah. <laughs> right, the illuminator that we were helping. Yeah, yeah. it's in the bottom of my saddlebag. Dig it out. Let me get back to it here. Wait, what was the name of the inn we're going to? Uh, the Golden Cup. Was it the Garden of the Silver Breezes? Yeah, that's the one where you're. Yeah. Doesn't sound like my sort of place, though. (laughs) No one knows who you are. How are you supposed to be able to boast if you can't uh, (laughs) be recognized? That was the uh, Illuminator, you said? Mm -hmm. Who's our best writer here? Chogoth? I'm going to guess, right? Ten? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you go to the Garden of the Silver Breezes, ask for Cylindrin, mention his name. What? 
You're gonna try and put together a horse race, aren't you? No, no. Uh, <laughs> my rides, my ride skill went up from the arms and things. So I was just uh, wondering who I was taking my tips from. What's your ride at? Uh, <laughs> total, it's a five now. But I had zero ranks in it before. You'd figure almost anyone that's um of a certain class should get ride. But yeah. like I said, I don't. So they're all <laughs> either cross classing or cross skill classing. Yeah. Which I, I wonder if they took that from the Amarillian like was it Swan? Yeah. Being such a poor rider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of them don't seem to do anything but sit in her room scheming. Okay. So where did you guys want to go? Did you want to go to the so well, I imagine we'll take care of our promissory note first, so I'll just stay with the, the group. Yeah, I'll go to the, was it the end of Golden Cups. Okay. What does Tanchico look like? I've never been here before. Think of Tyr. Except worse. Except, uh, well, no. Not as good. I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tyr's great. Yeah, you got to think of that wording there. <laughs> it's the best. Um, it's a... Uh, Hive of villainy and scum. <laughs> it's like if Ilianers tried to construct Tyr. Tyr is like Ilian's armpit. You are wrong, sir. <laughs> Hulk, defend my honor. <laughs> Charge. <laughs> no. No. How dare you? You knave. Me? <laughs> I know nobody ever says that in the wheel of time. So Tanchico is uh, right. the capital of Terabon. It's one of the greatest and oldest cities <laughs> in the West. I'll be a bitch of that. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> set on the north shore of the mouth of the river uh, Andar. It's larger than Tyr and better. Impossible. Uh, it's also <laughs> larger than Camelin. It's spread it as it is over the steep hills that make up the coastline. Uh, it sits in Tanchico Bay, which opens into the Earth Ocean, just a few miles from the city. Tanchico is built on three peninsula that stretch out into Tanchico Bay. And it's on those fingers of land that the majority of daily business is done. The Varana Peninsula to the east is the home of the Panarch's Palace. And as well as the uh, Panarch's, Panarch's Circle. And uh, the arena of where the illuminators display their displays are commonly held. The center peninsula is the uh, Maceta, where the King's Circle and the King's Palace are located. The westernmost most peninsula is the Calpene. I don't know how to... It's C-A-L-P-E-N-E. You know how to pronounce that? Calpena. Calpena. There Sounds you go. Good. So Calpena <laughs> so is a location say. of the Great Circle and site of much trade. A uh, Hall of Assembly of Lords is on this peninsula as well. It's built to overlook the bay and other places. It looks like a pretty decent city. Let's see, I know they had pictures of all the uh, places somewhere. It's not in there. It is it? No, I look, but I did find one. How could they not? Is this have... the place where the? I need a Google Maps of that. The Panarch matches the King's Palace, except for it's like just a little bit smaller. It's like a foot less in yeah. each dimension. What was that? Was that English or French that were doing that in real life? I know that that's happened in a couple places. I don't know. John? What's it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Poor system of government here, though. I don't like kings. So it has a little bit on it. It, was, uh, it says like that a dozen strong forts and walls guard... <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really have much on it. Hmm. Well, it's a little let's, blurb. Let's go. It. Let's go get our money, and then uh, I take my leave. Of <laughs> so it's it's not difficult to get uh, directions to the Golden Cup. It's a fairly high end establishment that doesn't cater to the likes of Chogoths. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, the end of no the Golden Cup is allowed. <laughs> Is, uh, the <laughs> the Golden Cup is a stately old building of white stone set to overlook the Hall of Assembly on one side uh, on one side and Tanchico Bay on the other. Uh, many blocks from the Great Circle it seems removed from the clamor of the crowds that seem to dominate Tanchico. Right. There's a picture here, but it looks like it's almost a barren waste. Ah. Um, 
when we write in, I'll flip the uh, stable hand an extra silver mark and say make sure they get a double portion of oats and a good rub down. Wow. Some of those magic Eridomen carrots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will uh, tell Dill to oversee, make sure that they're treating our animals properly. I forgot we have to feed okay. Dill as well. Yeah, he... Uh... He can eat grass. <laughs> yeah. He's out grazing with the horses. <laughs> um, yeah, he'll take to that duty. So when you uh, go into the stable yard, as the uh, innkeeper comes out, um, comes out to yell at the stable man, you see that he's a tall, stooped man. Uh, when he sees you, he addresses um, Adina, since she's finally skinny, dressed. Isn't? What's that? He's a no. He's not a skinny innkeeper, is he? Doesn't say that. Okay. Just says that he's tall and stooped. He introduces himself as uh, Borman. As, uh, though somewhat sour at first glance, he's actually quite friendly to you. And he asks if you'll require rooms for the night. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. We've uh, been marching our butts off. For me and my companions. Also, I'd like to make uh, inquiries onto a friend I'm supposed to be meeting. Okay. Um, says that there's lots of guests that stay at the inn uh, and asks who you're looking for. Do you want me to roll anything to uh, do this tactfully or I'm not giving away too much because I don't know what name she's traveling under or anything? Um... Yeah, you can. Uh, she typically she uh, doesn't change her name. She doesn't have a warder to bypass the uh, lying oath, mm. so she can't really give a different name than well, Sheena. <laughs> you could always bypass it by saying you can call me. Oh, okay. Well, was, uh, you're supposed to ask for Nadira about okay. that. Uh, I'll give a brief description then. Uh, Nadira. <laughs> So, uh, when you mention her name, uh, he, uh, he looks at you a bit suspiciously and asks, uh, what your business is with her and what your, your name is as well. Uh, I'm Adina. I am a, well, what was it? Like a handmaiden or a servant. Okay. As, uh, when you mention your name, as he uh, bows it and says, uh, Begging your pardons, good folk. The lady is no longer a guest at my establishment. It was uh, urgent business, you see. Uh, she was called away some two weeks hence, but she left a package in my care to be delivered to you upon your arrival. She also arranged rooms at her expense. He uh, hustles behind the bar and pulls out a... Um, just a, a simple wooden box. All right. I'll uh, take possession of the box and uh, ask to be shown to my room. Okay. Uh, he calls up uh, some people to take you guys to your rooms. Uh, we'll also be dining. Would you uh, arrange a dining room for us? Yes. Yes, mistress. As, uh, he also inquires if you would like baths drawn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, serving men and women come to escort you first to your rooms and then show you to the baths. And uh, the deluxe bath. A deluxe bath. <laughs> There's no deluxe bath in the wheel of time. <laughs> well, maybe in, uh, oh, what's that one place uh, where everyone's a thief? <laughs> you got to wash your head first. Alien? No. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like south of Camelin. Oh, uh, Lugard? Yeah, Lugard. Maybe there's deluxe baths in Lugard. They seem like the type. <laughs> there's deluxe communal baths in my home. That's true. China. But, you know, this is Chan Chico. They have no moral compass here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh. after your baths, you'll be directed to your uh, dining room. So we're getting here probably really late in the day since it's the... Last of the forced march days. Yeah. Okay. As it's coming uh, on to uh, evening there. Well, I'm going to take a bath. Let's all go, baby. I'm going to shave my head. Okay. 
And then what are we doing? Uh, Meeting for dinner. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to eat a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'll, at some point after I bathe, I'll be in my room and I'll check what's in the box. See if these yahoos need to know what it is. Okay, so uh, inside is a purse containing 100 gold crowns and a short note. It says, um, Worthy friends. Stress to Adina. So it says, Adina, uh, my gratitude for your efforts and the efforts of your friends on my behalf. Affairs of some, some important or import have drawn me away from Tanchico. I have secured rooms for you at this fine establishment. Please be my guest for a few days. I hope to get further word to you during this time. I regret that I cannot confer with you concerning the success or failure of your recent endeavor. For now, please accept the enclosed token of my appreciation for your efforts. I assure you that on our next meeting, you will be compensated in full. And it's signed, Nadira. Then I'll go to the dining room and wait for the others if they're still in their baths. Okay. So, you guys take your baths and you are directed by the serving men that uh, Adina is waiting for you in the uh, private dining hall, if you wish to join her. Yeah. Yes. So, the uh, food here is... Pretty much fish, same with any uh, predominantly port town. There's uh, fish and some vegetables and a spiced wine that you have not tasted before. I'll try and get some tea. They laugh at you and say they only have spiced wine. And spicier wine. Yeah. <laughs> An extra spicy one. I'm going to go saddle up my horse and get ready for a charge. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> charge the inn? <laughs> yes. No, they'll, uh, they'll bring you um, some tea, which is actually very tasty. Okay. So that 100 gold crowns is equivalent to two pounds, which at today's prices is almost $40,000. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. You should invest that then. <laughs> I'm going to invest it in a new sword. So as you guys are, are eating, do you want to discuss anything? or? Uh, yeah, I'll discuss the... Or I'll give them their payment, which I believe is 20 gold crowns each. Right, it was 100? Or mm -hmm. 200? 100, yeah, so 20 each. It would be 25? I'm paying myself, right? Does Dill get a cut too? No. Well, there's four of us. Oh, so it is 25? He's paying the game yeah, master, too. He's paying the game master. <laughs> bad math. Oh. Cut that out, John. Cut yeah. out my bad math. It's all right. Just uh, restate it. <laughs> That's and then bad math, uh, Chris. Splice it in? Yeah. <laughs> just put it in there. 25. So one Read. crown is 10 more. Yeah. Do somebody else's voice, though. <laughs> He's giving you all 25, 25 <laughs> gold crowns. <laughs> well, there are a few. Yeah, five of us sitting at the table, and if you split 105 ways, it's 20. Yeah. But yeah, Dill does complain, where's his cut? <laughs> <laughs> he did kill more Shanchin than the rest yeah. of us combined. Yeah, he's more than happy to point that out, that he's a better archer than all of you. He talks uh, like a bannerman, though. I still got 200 yeah. marks. That leathery looking Not really, you guys were, weren't... Uh... Eats grass. <laughs> yeah, it talks <laughs> like a horse. We could give Dill a cut of the marks, if you guys want. Just give him a mark. Yeah, he doesn't need any money. What's he going <laughs> to spend it on? He can have five marks. Don't want the boy to fall into greed early. Okay, so 50 marks as well. Okay. Each? Yeah. And Nadira asks that we wait here for a, a few days to receive word from her, if you are willing to. She promises more payment, I believe, right? Yeah. Yes. If not, I just blatantly lie. <laughs> Because I can do that. The dragon broke all oaths. <laughs> That's true. In fact, it justifies my killing. It does. A kill in the name of the dragon reborn. <laughs> Thank you, dragon, for appearing. <laughs> Got it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, Rafe is more than happy to wait. We'll drink and gamble. 
and wander his way over to the Garden of the Silver Breezes on one of these days. So uh, while you guys are, are dining and discussing, a uh, knock comes on the door. Uh, let's see. I'll motion to Chogoth to answer it. He's a good one to always have. I'll answer. charge. <laughs> Or how'd you get the horses in here? <laughs> yeah, I'll he never go. dismounted. He just he <laughs> took his bath. See, uh, I like to think it's like uh, some of those bad. He Skyrim. rode his horse into the bath. <laughs> yeah, I like to think it's like those bad Skyrim glitches. So the horse just when he says charge, the horse comes glitching through, <laughs> and he sits on it. <laughs> I'll uh, clear my, you know, I'll loosen my sword and its sheath and go open the door. All right. So when you open the door. Uh, there is a broad-shouldered, sturdy-looking uh, man who has a uh, one of the uh, Terraboner uh, heavy vills that you've seen around town covering his face. What? And <laughs> can I help you, sir, ma'am? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can't tell so, one stash isn't a giveaway <laughs> you'll see tarboners yeah. can't tell one from the other um, he hands you uh, a letter and then ducks his head and leaves alright I'll open it up and read it yeah. is uh, okay so it, I'll it's clear my throat it was a chest to Adina <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it says uh, for Adina's eyes only on it uh, and then when you open it, it says you're not Adina. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> it was a real letter. Fireball goes off. <laughs> no, it, it's another letter from uh, Nadira where she states that... Uh, Once I see that, then I'll, I won't read the rest. Of okay. I'll give it to Adina. So, Adina, this letter states that she has not left Hanchiko. She apologizes for uh, the deception, but uh, it's become dangerous for her here. Uh, she asks that uh she asks that you not say anything about uh the fact that she's in the city as her business requires her to remain out of sight um if you tomorrow a the a man will come and bring you to where she's at as uh she says that uh his name is Gable uh he will recognize you all right i'll fold it up and put it in my pouch was she said she didn't want me saying that it she's still in town, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's see. You can't lie. But she clarify that it, you're not to tell like the innkeeper or anybody else. Yeah. Um, your group that's working for her would be fine. Well, I have problems in because I know Chan Chico or Tan Chicans are yeah. uh, a bunch of tarburners. There are a bunch of filthy eavesdroppers and thieves and all sorts of stuff they'll sell their mother for a copper so i have i don't want to say anything out loud yeah. unless it does know. tell you to take care because uh the inn may be being watched as yeah. well um so i guess what i'll say is like uh nadira says that uh things became a bit hectic here for her and uh that she had to leave so uh that we're still to await word from her i'll fold the letter up and put it in my pocket any idea how long? No, we're just to await her. Okay. So you guys will have one one free day here if you want to do anything in Tanchico. I'll start the day out gambling and drinking, and then I'll head over drunkenly to the Garden of the Silver Breezes. <laughs> the, the innkeeper does give warning that crime is on the rise in the city. Mm -hmm. And it may not be safe to travel alone, especially for the lady. Uh, I might have to find some Tanchican clothes, too. Tarboner garb, thick woolen. Might as well just be wearing a sack. Oh, they have the high-necked gowns, don't they? Well, so do Domani. But theirs are just clingy. Well, they also have the veil. No, like yeah. Domani's are clingy, too. Yeah. It's just like... No, yeah, that's that's what I mean. But they're, the Terraboners is just high-necked, regular material thought, or whatever. I thought theirs were clingy, too. All right. They're trying to imitate you. Yeah. <laughs> That's just that they add the veil, I thought. And yeah. Probably different material. That's what Adina would be kind of griping about is they probably, like, they're too thick and woolen or something like that. Might as well just be wearing a shapeless sack. Especially for a port city where it's hot. Hey, what did we ever end up doing with the, the goblets that had Hawkwing's crest on? You guys still have them. Yeah. And I still have a hundred, we have 136 
gold coins with Hawkwing's image on them. Maybe that's what you ought to do. Go get them appraised? Yeah. Drunkenly. So it's eight silver goblets with the coat of arms on a, on the stems. One is Arter Hawkwing and the other was each. And then two small statuettes of identical twin small boys. I have that. Uh, uh, Adina have has that. that one, yeah. Yeah, those are what uh, we used to see through Falk's eyes. All right. Not that he knows that. So then, so those cups and then 136 Arter Hawkwing gold coins. Okay, yeah, I'll go. I'll take one of you fellas um, with me. I'll go with you. Uh, Chogoth, Adina, do you expect to need to use your horse? Mm, no. No, I can walk. I need to go find uh, Lax. I was going to take them to a farrier, oh. get, get them reshoed, um, take the saddles, get a, get the leather reworked wherever we need. Uh, uh, pick, uh, so uh, we can run errands today. I, okay. Was it This place uses those chairs, right? Yeah, the palaquins. Yeah, so I, I will inform you. Oh, uh, the sedan. Yeah, any of the ones that might not have been to this type of city that, you know, chairs are the common form of transportation in the city. It doesn't get our horses reshot, though. I'm not talking to that. <laughs> okay. Right? It's just if you do, do decide to go out and about, that riding would probably be... Get them to carry oddity. your horse. I, I was kind of <laughs> thinking, am I supposed to ride in those two, or is... <laughs> That's just for those fancy nobles, isn't it? tell you to it? get down from there. I'm going to be ashamed secretly that this bumpkin <laughs> somehow yeah. figured out that I'm that I'm able to channel. <laughs> well, was, you handed uh, me a statue it, and told me that you could see through my eyes that if I That the statue would allow for it to happen. It's the statue. It's a thing of the one power. And then they just flat out told me that all Damani can channel. <laughs> that's true. The sun should know the, the secret. <laughs> And okay, so two and two together. Um, you two were going together, and I'm too awake. To, uh, Gable. Okay. Right. Yeah. And uh, Chogoth, what would you like to be doing? Well, I need to go buy some masterpiece weapons and armor. Oh, I will also tell them to be careful that uh, the the this place is commonly uh, steeped in spying. And trigger, you know, like uh, subversion. There's a good chance that this inn is being watched. That's why I've got Rafe with me. I may not be I'm good at that, but he is. What? Yes, <laughs> it's or, true. At least he <laughs> says he is. <laughs> Just be careful what you say, and who you say it to. Okay. Are you guys taking your weapons with you? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, my club, anyway. Okay. Well, so yeah, I'm not going to take my lance and my boar spear. I'll just take <laughs> my, my swords <laughs> and my you, dagger. You guys do see that uh, throughout the city, uh, crime is pretty much running wild here. Uh, <laughs> people getting stabbed. <laughs> well, I mean, people are stealing, you know, robbing people. Yeah. Uh, beating people up. Yeah, beating mobs. people up. There's mobs. It's it's pure chaos. So. Um, Abu Dar, where the stabbings are civilized. Yeah. <laughs> and duels. You do notice uh, on your way that there are some that eye you guys, but once they see your your club and your thousand swords, <laughs> that they uh, it's not decide to borrow one of my swords. <laughs> decide it's not worth it. Club. It's not just People a club, it's like a me. splintered blood covered brain soaked <laughs> he's never a vlog now. <laughs> yeah. Well I also have a sour disposition because we're out doing uh errands. And when you could be I'm muttering out. about it to you. I'm like bloody errand boys we found ourselves as fault. As we're uh as we're traveling through I'll try and find a food vendor that has some wine and get him a jug of wine to <laughs> drink as we go. No, Just to shut him up. Duty first. <laughs> but let me tell you, I'm not no errand boy to bloody Adina and her Ladylike airs, or that Chogoth, let me tell you. This is Duty <laughs> first. <laughs> Honor this. Bloody Aaron, boys. Do you have your little mountain? <laughs> right. There's nothing wrong with doing a good hard day's work. There's everything. And all of these wrong things need to be data. done, and it might as well be us that does them. But we do have to make one other stop. I had an idea in my sword training. I saw a guy in tear using a sword breaker, and I happened to pick up that feat just now. <laughs> Okay. I wouldn't mind looking at a few weapons myself. <laughs> right. 
But why would you want to fight a dude when he has a blade in his hand? You just take it out of his hand or break the bloody thing. That's what I think. Seems fair enough. All right. Do you um, think you could break a lance? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once we find a, a farrier and a leather worker that can uh, touch up our equipment, we'll drop those off and go looking for some weapons. Okay. Yeah, you can you can find the uh, farrier and, and a leather wor- worker as well. Um, did you have a praise? I do a little bit. You do? Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm hoping it's enough that I don't get cheated when I get it appraised. Yeah. As, uh, you don't, though, Falk? Absolutely okay. not. So, do uh, gather information. Uh, both of you can if you want to. As this will be for where to sell these coins and cups. I'll eat you. I'll okay. set out a net of one power. <laughs> Multiple people are ripped apart. Not that type of... Oh, like the... But the house is burned. To shape the city oh, to, my, uh, to my hey, will. Hey, John. Yeah. Once I start seeing people stabbing everybody, I'll immediately go back to the inn. Okay. I'm not going to try to do business in a town like this. Okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, if you do, if you ask any of the guardsmen, the guards try to get there as quick as they can, right? But you can tell that the mobs are this pretty much running the town. It's completely lawless. The Dark One rules here. I'll scrawl the dragon thing. <laughs> on every door. On, on the city gates. <laughs> In the middle of uh, the town square, giant uh, dragon span. Dark Frolics oh, are better yeah. behaved. <laughs> At least they have some semblance of order. <laughs> Remember, aren't all like the the big town squares like taken over by refugees and and squatters? Yeah, they, uh-huh. that's yeah. something that you see in abundance is Just refugees. Light them on fire. In fact, it's mostly <laughs> wow. what we seems can. to be re- refugees that you are do doing the these to crimes. Do that. I do. Yeah, but we know that they're all going to join the Legion of the Dragon eventually. Can't harass yes. us. <laughs> we had. The foresight. We can't upset the. Uh... <laughs> All right. What was your gathering information for? I got a thirteen hundred thousand right, strong uh, crossbow right. twenty division. Okay, something. so you both find places to sell. Um, you get a lot more detailed information on what types of goods the person would buy. Uh, you get information that there's someone buying old relics in an alley back over here <laughs> okay so i'll give him my the information yeah. i got there's a guy buying relics in the alley oh this guy would be like so which one's closer that wait an alley okay no <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're selling the horn nobody yeah. buys relics at or the alley pieces ways. of the false dragon well we'll check my information out if it doesn't work if it doesn't work then we'll go to this alley. <laughs> we'll go to this alley wait you got to be careful in cities such as these folks it's also selling some milk of the poppy and some other stuff. <laughs> you could probably use some of that after some of these battles. He's we've selling had. dragon banners, and uh, he'll even make you the dragon reborn if you pay him enough. <laughs> you got to be knighted. That. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want that responsibility. Oh no, it's great. It's not what they make it seem to be. All right, so um, you go into a. a Another part of the city that uh, doesn't seem to be plagued by all the refugees as the streets start to clear up. There's more uh, guard presence here. Um, and you can you can locate the shop that you were looking for. Um, the shopkeeper is named... Uh, I'm trying to think of one of uh, Chris's old uh, either Mech Warrior or Shadowrun names. The one like real common ones. <laughs> What did you have? Morton? I got like Morton. Yeah, there you go. Morton, Morton Durant. Morton Durant. That's him. He's product like, placement. I used to be a... <laughs> Two types of product. Exactly. <laughs> Does he just look around the room and make names? He's like, you want some salt? <laughs> what about some cigarettes? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so his name is Morton. Yeah, well, he'd be selling like Two Rivers Tobacco or something. Yeah. He's uh, He's got salt from the mines and Two Rivers Tobacco. He also dabbles in uh, Rare old games. items. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll haul the chest up there on the counter and open it up. Be like we stumbled across the cache relics. We think from the before the splintering of the ten nations. 
That was a capital S splintering. That's what they called it back then. I'm yeah. a historian. <laughs> uh, but what do you make of him? Fetch a fair price, huh? Yeah, so he he looks at him, and uh, his expression doesn't change at all when he's looking through him. Go ahead and do your appraise, though. As they're doing their business, I'm going to stand at the door and do an intimidate, mainly for the people outside. Mm. But a dark one just in case. There's, uh, there's not pretty good. any <laughs> refugees here, because okay. it just seems kind of business as usual. But I also kind of want it to affect the... Yeah. He's pretty engrossed in in what you guys have here. What did you get? Fifteen. Okay. So he he uh, looks at it, uh, you know, kind of rubs the uh, coin with a, a cloth there, trying to clean it up a bit, and then uh, tosses it back in the box and says, uh, uh, "They're they're gold coins. They're worth one gold, right? But you know from your appraise that they should be worth at least two a piece." I'll tell him. I'm like, you're a bloody idiot. <laughs> they have the mark of the High King Arter Hawk Queen on them. So how do I know that you didn't just draw these on here? <laughs> because they're not drawn on there. <laughs> they're minted that way. Surely you know about the coin business and how coins are made. I'm not in it myself, but my family was, so you could say I'm bred into it. <laughs> well, and these <laughs> are ancient coins, and they have value to collectors. And you don't just spend them on the street. That's why I came to you. I heard you were a man of good repute, but evidently I heard wrong. Good whoa, day, whoa, sir. Whoa, whoa, Hold there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Guards. <laughs> uh, yeah, he'll, after wow. some uh, some slapping like you did, he'll give you two. <laughs> All right. Two piece for him. I'm sorry. Now, what, Please don't see uh, any more. Some chalices or something? Yeah. Yeah, eight. Um, Silver There's goblets. eight uh, silver goblets with uh, semi-precious stones. So you can drink out of it oh. when you're in the taverns. Did you want to keep one? No. We should all keep I'm not putting it everywhere we go. As, uh, he loses his composure a little bit with these ones. Okay, so the, uh, sh the shopkeeper uh, was examining these uh, goblets, and you saw he lost his composure a bit. And... Uh, Quickly regains it. Um, he's going to offer you uh, 10 gold a piece for him, though. I better double check that. What'd you get? It. Dark ones unlocked. Dark ones unlocked. <laughs> Is, uh, do a, a history on these. Seven. So you remember from when they, um, I believe Adina had checked, um, that. Um, Arthur Hawkwing's uh, shield was on the uh, right-hand side, but uh, she wasn't able to tell who the left-hand side was. Um, well, I want to sense his motive, too, now oh. that I know he's untrustworthy. What did you get for your... Oh, my sense motive? Yeah. 16? Um, so he seems pretty genuine. Well, I'd be metagaming if I didn't go for he, it. You have seen him lose his composure, though. That's true. Regain he's negotiate. obviously tower trained. Yeah, I'll try a... What is diplomacy? Yeah. You can I'll use mine. <laughs> That's not it. I'm like, more money. Oh, I'll also go intimidate. How, much, how many jewels are there on it? Um, And what kind of jewels? Yeah. It doesn't say how many there are. It just says that they are... Uh, decorated with semi-precious stones. So are the gems himself about worth the 10 gold that he's offering? Uh, do an appraise. I got a 14. Um, you've seen uh, gems like that sell for uh, more. Okay. Um, also, uh, yeah, a little bit more. So, yeah, I'll, I'll chime in and say the gems themselves are worth almost that much. Let's keep the cups. All right, trying this. Besides, I wouldn't mind having a little little piece of history to take home with me. You're right. No deal on the cups. But we'll sell you the gold coins, I guess. No? Um, I'm not there. Although I, I would like to keep one of the gold coins. How many? Do you want to keep some of them? I just want to keep one. There were 100? There were 136. 
thirties. So we'll sell them a hundred. Two hundred gold crowns. Andoran marks, please. <laughs> Andoran. Heaviest yeah, of crowns. Yeah, they're the heaviest Heavy. crowns. Oh yeah. You uh going to weigh them, make sure they're not so deflated. I think that's probably how the exchange would take place, right? To begin with. Oh yeah. Weighing well, coins. His, yeah. His weights might be off though. Yeah. Oh I brought this... my own scales. <laughs> uh when you when you take the cups off the table, he'll offer you fifteen gold crowns for him each. Um I guess I'll look at Falk. Fifteen. Well, you already said you can pop the jewels and sell them for more than that. No, you, he. Uh, I kind of like his idea. Keep, keep, keep it his. Okay. Like, sorry, friend. Was, um, You're gonna get jumped by some of his. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, he tells you that uh, if you if you do wish to part with them, uh, come back and see me. The offer still stands. The offer better stand a lot higher. Was hundred. Hundred gold crowns per. Uh, he, yeah, he he scoffs and says that they're they're not worth that, no matter who drank out of them. Uh, I disagree. I think any monarch <laughs> in any land would like a piece of Arter Hawkwing's empire. You just have to find the right sellers. But that's your business. As I told you, I'm a coin maker, or at least that's my family's <laughs> history. Um, the he'll the highest that he'll go with you is twenty each. Hundred. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't how we negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm not, but no deal. We'll keep the goblets. Okay, you can have these hundred <laughs> gold coins. All right, so, so you'll make uh, two hundred right. out of the total transaction. Close to my goal is a power rot blade. <laughs> is it going to be hair and mark? No. Well, yeah. you, I don't want that kind of. <laughs> well, you should randomize it. Yeah. and see whether he gets one that's hair yeah. marked or not because he does probably depend. doesn't know. <laughs> Although true. when we get the amount of gold, it depends on where we are in the world mm. on, on what it'll... Uh, if anybody's willing to sell you one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to buy plain DR full plate. Oh, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Do that? There's these discs. <laughs> you can buy these oh, little black and white mail, discs maybe. everywhere. <laughs> well, like I was reading because of how it makes it's made you'd have to make like each piece that's going to fit together separate because when you make it it would just fuse, fuse yeah them. yeah yeah so you could make full plate out of it you just have to do it very carefully and technically it's made from iron i think yeah so it's not that expensive yeah to... you just have to have a channel <laughs> yeah you just have to know the weave yeah. which is lost <laughs> well, learn it come on actually this on. would probably be the, one of the best cities to try and find a power up late in because actually, with, probably that's not better without, yeah uh with oh. how desperate everyone is. We got the museum, too. We could raid that, get yeah. some mongrel, hopefully. If you want to try and search one out, you can. Well, what's the next on the list of errands? Um, so well, the we're horses? going to have to go back and get the horses. I, I think it was your your weapon. Sword breaker. i yeah. got to find a sword to break so I'm gonna. You're going to go somewhere? So are those uh, only yeah. native in tier? Or? No, I don't know. I'm not sure. But it just takes exotic weapons proficiency to use well them. what's his name Hurin Hurin had Hurin. one and yeah. he's not from tier uh, the That's other true because the one from tier Julian didn't use used it. a staff he used, he used a yeah, staff That's because right. it's too close to a sword yeah, yeah. Hurin was a borderlander borderlander uh -huh. yeah okay Shinaren I think we've met him yeah you did yeah, yeah. should have taken his sword breakers. he probably smelled violence on us a mile away <laughs> You guys been burning. So, because of the uh, <laughs> the recent um, strife in the city, uh, normally they're twenty five. It'll be twenty. This is the price has dropped. Okay, twenty marks. Shouldn't it be going up. Is it just people trying to fence them? Or? Yeah, just uh, people that are trying to get rid of them. Um, Need that food that money. they stole and yeah. I was also gonna as we. When we do find rations, someplace that'll sell them to us, I was going to give an extra five marks to feed some of the local families. Okay. Sure the rations aren't wormy. Yeah. Got a wormy biscuit or something. Be eating all our rations in the dark. So normally rations were costing you guys five silver pieces, or silver pennies, sorry. Uh, they'll actually cost... 
um, a full mark per okay. ration. That's uh, pretty basic uh, trail rations. It's mainly breads. Questionable dried meat. Yeah, I mean, well, little, little dry meat. Very little. And what's there is questionable. Yeah. Okay, but... Oh, man, better keep a track of our horses, too. <laughs> They'll end up in a cook pot if yeah. we're not careful. All right. Yeah, I got, got rations, about 20 rations for when we move out. Right. And then, Adina, you said you wanted to go somewhere as well? Uh, no, but I'm <laughs> waiting for Gable. Okay. And what I was going to do was take Chogoth aside and uh, tell him that uh, Sheena is sending a person to take me to her. And if he wants, I'd like him to trail, like, behind, you know, like, kind of keep an eye on me, make sure I'm going, I'm, I'm safe, <coughs> that's not a trap or something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I will. I'll agree to that. So, uh, Gable doesn't, well, let's finish up here. Did you guys have anything else that you wanted to do? No. You got your sword breaker. Uh, did you want to go to the, what was it, the, the tea house or whatever you want, you're supposed to go to? Uh, maybe. I just can't remember. Exact. She just said to go there if I ever needed anything. And ask for, uh, yeah. if I was in Tanchico. Yeah, if you were in Tanchico, I said, uh, go there and I could call it a favor. Yeah. So right now I don't okay. really have the favor I want to call in. Okay. Then I guess it's just going back and still might be a good uh, idea to check it out and see what like find it. Right. So that way you got it. If you need yeah, it. I guess I'll just get do the footwork on it, figure out where in the city it's at. So if I need to go there, I can go there. But I won't be asking that fellow we were dealing with. I won't even make it back to the end with any of these gold marks we just or crowns we just got. Ah, uh, maybe. If uh, worst comes to worst, have Falk jump on your back and charge the mob. <laughs> you should do fine. Who's that? So uh, the Garden of the Silver Breezes turns out to be a wine shop. I just wanted to know how to get there for now. Oh yeah, you you can. Uh, you can uh, get directions to it. So, it's not until uh, the next evening, or that evening, sorry, that uh, Gable shows up. And uh, as it turns out, Gable is the same person that dropped the letter off. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Chogoth, you recognize him when he approaches your table. I um, we wouldn't be sitting at the same table. Oh, Okay. But I didn't um, know at the time that it was the same guy. But yeah, yeah okay. But yeah, I mean, he uh, you you recognize him when he he comes in, and he recognizes you and Shogoth from who he dropped the letter off with. But uh, he'll come and sit at Adina's table. Is anybody else sitting with Adina? I think we're still out doing errands. But this would yeah. be later, later in the evening. No, probably not. Okay. If I got a free evening, I'll be trying to. All right. So uh, he approaches your table, and uh, he sits down as if he were invited. He says, uh, welcome to Tanchico. Um, he uh, says that he's he's there to take you to your mutual friend. And you would be? Uh, Gable. All right. um, he does ask if anybody else is going to come along. Would that be a problem? No. As, uh, I think she's expecting all of you. Mm. I'll stand up and I guess I'll nod to Chogoth. Okay. So, um, he leads you down uh, through wind the winding streets of Tanchico. As, uh, you move past the thronged great circle, uh, keeping to the side streets in a cautious route that leads you off the Calpene Peninsula and north towards the city's outer wall. After perhaps half an hour, he stops at the door of a nondescript home. With one more glance up and down the street, he says, we're here. Uh, he opens the door and slips into the house. Um, it leads you to a back room. And when you get into the room, uh, Sheena, or Nadira, is waiting. I'll curtsy. Okay. So, uh, she the first thing that she does is ask you about the success with uh, Megda. It uh, 
was a rousing success due to uh, circumstances far outside our control. Do you want to give her the letter that Megda gave you for her? Okay. So uh, she'll she reads the letter and then um, she does question you guys on the uh, the Sanshim, which um, Megda made note of in her letter. Um, specifically the uh, channelers uh, she wants to know if you know uh, what it what device was controlling them basically I'll go into it uh, as much as I was able to figure out about how the latches work and all that stuff but I won't reveal that I have an Adam in my pouch okay um, and then she also questions the uh, the battle that took place in the sky as uh, she Obviously, uh, Megda can't lie, but it seems pretty far-fetched. Uh, I don't know the contents of the letter, but I can tell you that the horn was sounded. The heroes came back, and they uh, was it they they carried uh, the dragon banner with them. And then the only thing I can say is that the dragon reborn fought the dark one in the sky above Thalme. Okay, she's a bit troubled by this, but uh, she does say that uh, you've, to you three, that you've fulfilled your tasks, uh, your previous tasks, and she gives you another hundred gold crowns each. You two, yeah. And you guys each get 50 from the cell in the ardor hawkwing. Yeah, that puts me a power up blade status. So with with you guys paid, um, she says, uh, if you have some time here in Tanchico, I might have other business for you. I have need of an agent to look into a matter I myself am not free to investigate. It is a trifling issue, hardly worth or worthy of your talents, yet I hope you might spare me a little more of your time. A certain lady who goes by the name of Baleen resides in the Crescent Palace. I would like to know her business. Will you not look into this matter for me? Find out who she meets, what they discuss, and what they what she is after. Goes without saying, of course, that she should be uh, she should by no means suspect my interest in her affairs. I know I can trust you all to be discreet. This may be no matter at all. Perhaps she is just a simple merchant. I only need confirmation of that fact. I'm afraid my talents lie elsewhere, lady. I'll assist in however I can, but discretionary scheming and intrigue is not my particular area of expertise. Mm. How'd they get here? <clears throat> What's that? How'd these two get here? Um, it was later evening. Yeah, but they would have returned, and he Yeah, I don't think these guys came all of... with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you start talking. I'm like, Falk, are you all right? <laughs> Who are you talking he to? has a seizure on the ground. But yeah. yeah, like I know that they were back. It's just that they, the only one I nodded to was Cho'Goth. He was the oh, okay. I too. switched statues with her. Uh, so I'm actually watching. But it requires and the power. And he's channeling. <laughs> oh, no. That's how he put it together. He's, he's going to think he's a wor- he's going to think he's a wolf brother. He's just deep in the throes of madness. Madness. <laughs> So yeah, that's what she asks of you and Choga. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have a say in it. If she wants me to do spying, I'm going to have to. So Choga. Well, yeah. I'll, I mean, why not? I don't have anything else. Uh, we'll discuss it with our other companions. I think Rafe will be pretty sure. All right. So uh, she says that if the if your other two uh, companions agree as well. Uh, report back to this location in a few days and then she has uh gabe will show you guys out said a few days yeah um report back in a few days on any any of your findings mm. okay what was the uh woman's name that she wants us to look after it's uh baleen b-e-l-y-n-e i'll curtsy and uh make my leave i guess yeah i'll bow okay um yeah it's it, fairly easy to find your guys way back game of stones Hulk. sure i'll uh try to keep an eye out to make sure that 
we're not being followed or anyone's watching us too hard. Okay. I'll tell Chogoth <laughs> to do the same. <laughs> Gosh, I'll refuse. Finally. <laughs> well, I'm blind as a bat yeah. six. So yeah, you five. definitely got. <laughs> That's two out of three. Twenty. Sure. Okay. So you don't see anybody following, you but you do. Okay. You do draw the attention a couple times of some uh, ah. some of the refugees, <laughs> but again, when they see you, um, they'll opt for easier targets. Your intelligence. Wise choice. Thirteen. Okay, so we're about evenly matched. And what did she want us? She just oh, wanted us to check up and see what her line. activities were. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> she wanted you to find out a couple things if you're able uh, who she's meeting with, what they're discussing, what she's after here. Um, says that uh, she said that she uh, may be a simple merchant, but she needs confirmation of that. So you can assume that she's posing as a merchant or is a real merchant. Uh, once we're back at the end. Get another dining room and discuss it with uh, Falcon Ray. So let's uh, take a short break here. This has been a Death Watch production. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.